We want to bring in uh, Emily Ramshaw from the Texas Tribune. She's had a chance to uh, observe all of this. And uh, give me your impression of uh, President Clinton's speech and the reaction here. Of course, uh, uh, they loved him starting with the speech and ending with the speech. Absolutely. And I think, you know, you saw with our Texas delegation, obviously Bill Clinton is a fan favorite for Texas Democrats. And I think he definitely pleased them this evening. So. There was business, of course, before all this excitement uh, here in this last hour. Uh, lots of caucuses. We saw Alana talk about the diversity. Uh, what did you uh, observe during the day today that a lot of people, you know, when the cameras are not on, these most people at home don't know what's going on? Well, I think there were two pretty interesting things today. There were two key Texans who were actually speaking to the convention tonight. You know, you had Cecile Richards, who's a governor, a former governor Ann Richards' daughter, the president of Planned Parenthood, who really gave a very sort of Texas-focused message tonight, talking a lot about her mother, talking about her grandmother in Texas. Uh, you also had the very first uh, undocumented speaker at a convention, a young woman from San Antonio, a 27-year-old, who really was, you know, at risk of being deported uh, after a traffic violation. So I think there were some pretty interesting Texas stories tonight. The, uh, of course, day three here is the final day, and we heard the news that everything is going to be inside here. Um, you know, I, I don't know about you, I kind of think that, you know, this arena is actually uh, very speaker friendly and uh, I don't know what it was going to be like at Bank of America Stadium there. Right. Uh, have you been hearing anything about uh, just maybe among the Texas delegation or others any disappointment uh, that it's not going to be know, outside? I think the, the disappointment we've been hearing is from people who maybe aren't part of the delegation, relatives of the delegation who had tickets to get in and see it in a very, you know, a much bigger forum. Right. You know, and you've obviously seen Republicans out on their social networks, you know, already talking about, you know, was this because they couldn't fill the seats? Was this because they they were worried that it wasn't going to be as friendly of a crowd, you know. But I think the reality is, in a setting like this, it's still going to be very um, friendly, still going to be very comfortable, and it's going to feel like a big presence. I know that everything will uh, culminate with the president's speech tomorrow night. The Texas delegation has been making a point, as we've been uh, reporting, that you know they want to get some momentum going here for state politics, and you know maybe there's some realistic uh, expectations that it's not going to be blue overnight. But uh, do you think, when all is said and done, that Texas Democrats uh, are a little bit more energize as they uh, head back to state politics. I think absolutely having Julian Castro last night was really a big boon for them. You know, he's been making the rounds on the, the national broadcast TV circuit today. So I think, you know, this sort of favorite son getting all this national exposure is really going to be a big warm and fuzzy for Texans coming back to Texas. You know, the question is what happens from there and whether they're able to turn it into, you know, any kind of fundraising prowess. What you keep an eye on for the last day? Anything in particular? You know, I think I'm just going to be watching to sort of see how Texans go into this final day and, and what their takeaway really is from this. You know, I'm, again, looking for that message to Latinos. I'm looking to that message to young voters. I, I think that's what we can really expect to see tomorrow. Okay, Emily Ramshaw with the Texas Tribune.